Peggy 16. I'm most excited for Strand. That's going to be super epic just to introduce a new damage type. What's cool about Strand is it can take so many forms. The first time players see some new super action for Strand is going to be really exciting. Strand is this network of metaphysical connection. Objects, people, past, present, future. We call it the weave. Anytime a guardian needs to use Strand, revealing all the strands around them, reaching in, weaving weapons. Each of the supers kind of reflect that idea, weaving into needles, weaving it into a giant rope dart, weaving it into claws, revealing it as these green strands in the world. Green was definitely like something that we were excited about because it stood apart from other damage types. It kind of gave it like its own visual language. World strands are the things that are like more organic flowing. It almost looks like a curtain of strands that flicker in and out of reality. The idea of like the strings, like the strands lighting up the world. I think that was when everything kind of started to come together and like that starts to then influence what's the design? What is the VFX going to look like? What does audio sound like for it? We really wanted to visually show that there's some sort of order in the universe or some sort of chaos. But when players take it in, they're weaving these weapons of destruction. When developing Strand, we wanted the emotional fantasy to be based on ropes and strings and the mechanical fantasy to be rapid movement, creating objects out of these strands. When you are in each of your super states, you have these strand elements that are on you that are connected from above. Things that you create are constantly revealing this world of strands around you. Threaded Spike, the hunter's melee ability, will bounce between enemies until it can't find anymore, and then it will come back to me. If I press the melee button again, as it comes back to me, I will catch it, and that gives me melee energy for the next time I want to use it. As a VFX artist, we came up with this idea of when it goes out, let's put a bunch of additional communication on it to make it look more dangerous. And when it comes back, we don't add that stuff and it's simpler and then it feels less dangerous. And then that's when we know that we, we did it right, when, it's, when you're not even questioning it. But getting to that point is definitely a challenge. And each one of the strand abilities, I, I feel like, have these little twists in there. It's so important that you can tell what it is at a moment's notice. And then as we go through the process, there's revisions and refining it based off of play tests. Sometimes there are small visual changes. Sometimes it's like overall big differences. And I think a good example is the Titan uh, Super. We had this really cool swipe attack that was severing enemies, but it was hard to chase those enemies down. We need a long range attack for the Titan that is going to enable us to get close with the melee attack and attack them. And Suspend was a natural choice for that. One really cool thing we're introducing with Strand is the ability to suspend combatants. Combatants are lifted up into the air. They're suspended in these Strand webs. Their limbs are now like connected to these invisible strands and they are vulnerable. Then you can then start to set up combos on top of that, or even just, I need to take a breath moment. That really gives you and then your fire team members an opportunity to kind of set up one, two punch kind of combos. Sometimes you can use it more as utility and provide support for your team. And so I think that's gonna create like a lot of opportunities where strands gonna be valuable no matter what. I think it was really that moment where everything kind of like clicked and we're like everyone on the team was like oh i get what strand is now a big part of strand looking at the concept art that we tried to clue into was the idea of cosmic webs what do cosmic webs sound like anything that kind of evoked a feeling of tension and pulling things like recording as rubbing on plastics, leather gloves. We would string out a big sheet of plastic wrap and running our fingers along it in really weird performative ways. We actually start taking these sounds and combining them together and creating new things that are starting to sound a, li a little bit more like something that could be put into the game. That's just kind of the, the fun part of the sound design process that really brings everything together. 
Some wacky things have happened as we've developed strands, interactions we didn't necessarily anticipate. When you pick up a tangle and you throw it, you can grapple to that tangle and you're sailing through the air after <laughs> this tangle, which can then hit an enemy, blow them up, and then you just swoop in and follow up. Designers will find these bugs that will come back and be like, oh, actually, you can do this. And you're like, let's double down on that. You know, <laughs> <laughs> let's make that bug a feature. One of the coolest things about the way that, that we work at Bungie is we will take someone's awesome idea and through playtesting, through iteration, we can keep tweaking it and make the idea better. And then as we start to add the animation support, the VFX support, the audio support, that's when it really starts to come to life. All of that goes into making Strand this quality new damage type. You can imagine how it could work on paper, but then when we actually have the final result, wow, this is gonna be something special. And feels like nothing else I've ever played before. As players experiment and figure out all the weird things they can do, they're gonna get even more excited. Oh yeah, this is cool. Like, like this is it. <laughs> Once it goes live, then it's like, all right, let, let, let's see where players take it. And that's actually really exciting.